Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a slightly tardy Tuesday as opposed to our weekly Manic Monday because, of course, yesterday was Labor Day. And like many of you, I took the day off to hang out with my family and to relax. Um, but one of the things uh, that I'm struggling with, and I bet you are too, is getting back into a routine. For so many of us, um, our routines totally got sidetracked in March um, when everything stopped, work stopped, school stopped, activities stopped, and that really kind of blew the calendar and the routine out of the water. Certainly did for me and for our family, really sent us for a loop. And now that the kids have gone back to school, people are returning to work, things are really starting to slowly get back to normal. Um, I'm finding it really hard to get back into a routine and get back to the things that I actually really like to do, but I'm struggling to do them. And I I'm hearing from so many people that we're craving that normalcy, we're craving that routine, but it's really hard uh, to get back in that groove. So I thought that that was a great topic for the Tuesday after the long weekend. Um, and I really thought about, you know, what was I going to try and do? And the first thing is I had to be really aware that I was struggling um, and that I was really having trouble with that. And I was actually feeling kind of crummy that I couldn't just jump back into it. Um, so number one on the list of things to do is just be aware that you're struggling and kind of, you know, acknowledge that, like be aware of it and, and say like, I am struggling. And then the second thing I tried to do was actually really envision what was the routine that I wanted to have, particularly around my workouts and eating right and the activities that I need to do. Um, and then the third thing was, is I actually wrote it down. So I really got really clear on what that routine needed to look like uh, so that I could really start to reestablish that and actually even put that in my work calendar so that I know when I need to work out and uh, when I need to go for walks and when I need to do certain things. So it's really articulated very clearly for me. It makes it a little harder um, uh, to, to get away from it. Um, and then the third thing is, uh, I know I have to be a little patient with myself um, because I do know it's going to take me some time to get back into that routine. Um, and uh, being hard on myself isn't going to help that. Beating myself up, um, you know, just I need to take it one day um, at a time and I need, then need to build uh, two days and then it needs to be five days and then it's two weeks and, um, you know, slowly get back into that. And often it does take us about two to three weeks to get into a really great routine. So that's likely to be most of September. Uh, so just acknowledging um, that it's going to be a bit of a slow process, that it's a marathon, not a sprint, I think is going to help me um, and a couple concrete steps. So I hope that that's valuable to you on this slightly delayed uh, morning uh, video uh, and that you have a really great week. Bye now.